Now, we were talking about the importance of the omega-3s in fish oil early in life, from pregnancy all the way through the teen years. But then as we start getting into our midlife, let's hear about that. Now, Richard, you might say, well, I had a good start in life. I don't need to worry about it anymore. Oh, no, the need goes on, just like your need for vitamin uh -huh. C or anything else. The need okay. goes on. You know, folks, we live in troubled times uh, right now, economic and world affairs. Uh, I tell you, it's topsy-turvy. And if you're glued to the television news, it's going to stress and wear you out. Have you noticed that? If you pay too much attention to the news <laughs> without prayerful meditation and Bible reading, you become stressed and anxious. Yeah, you have to balance life. Now, here's a new study that just came in from the Journal of Neuro Neuroscience. They reviewed 160 studies. This is like a whole army of scientists investigating the benefits of omega-3s. Here's the conclusions of this massive study. They found omega-3s reduce stress, anxiety, depression, the symptoms of dyslexia, the symptoms of attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, bipolar depression, reduces symptoms. Can you believe this? And the symptoms of schizophrenia. Now, I didn't, I didn't think it would help schizophrenia, but this is the review from the Journal of Neuroscience. And they also found if there is no mental disorder, the omega-3s improve psychological test scores, and they create a more agreeable personality. E well, I like that guy. He's easy to work with. We get things done. You know, you work with people like that, you enjoy it. It's a good thing. Archives of General Psychiatry found adding omega-3s to an antidepressant, if you're on that, improved your depression scores by 50%. See? Pretty amazing. Ohio State University found if you have too much omega-6s in your diet, that's the other essential that we get plenty of. That's corn oil, safflower oil, peanut oil, that type of thing. If you get too much of those, even though you're getting some omega-3s, it can create the same effect as having an omega-3 deficiency. Does that make sense? So you have to have a balance of sixes to threes. That's very important. 160 studies. That is an impressive effort. Mm -hmm. This is becoming common knowledge in science. Is it common knowledge to you? Is it a part of your lifestyle? Neuroexciticity, neurotoxicity. Dr. Blaylock, he's been on our program. He's dedicated a huge part of his current career. You know, he's a neurosurgeon for almost 30 years, and now he does nutrition-related things. He has found that omega-3s reduce the excitotoxicity, the brain damage, the nerve damage effect of MSG and aspartame, the artificial sweetener. It'll help to compensate for that. Pretty amazing. Appetite and weight control. University of Iceland found omega-3s reduce overall hunger and urges to eat more two hours after a meal. How often does that happen to you? At night, you know, you had the meal. He says, that should hold me the rest of the night. But 9, 30, 10 o'clock, you know. I'm hungry again. Maybe if you add a little more omega-3s to your diet, you won't need to have that snack before you go to bed because that, yeah, that's how you gain weight, right? Absolutely. Diabetes and insulin resistance. University of Iceland, another study from them, found omega-3s reduced insulin levels. That's insulin resistance. It'll help you control your diabetes. Pretty amazing, huh? Here's a whole uh, list of cardiovascular benefits. Remember the Harvard one, 5,000 women over 16 years, women who had five servings of fish a week or took omega-3 supplements on a daily basis, 64% reduction of coronary artery disease, 64. Those who had fish just once a month, 26% reduction, just once a month. You know, maybe, maybe you're not the kind of person who wants to take a pill every day. A lot of people have that. They don't, they don't like swallowing pills. But could you do it a couple, three times a month, swallow a few pills for that kind of benefit? It's worth, worth it. It's in your interest to do that. The Mayo Clinic published a review of all available literature. Omega-3s reduce cardiovascular disease events by 19 to 45%. Now, what do I mean by an event? That's a heart attack. That's a stroke. That's the stuff that kills America. Reduces the event of that by 19 to 45%. And here's the thing, with no adverse effects. Every day you turn on the television, there's an ad for this drug, that drug, and the other. And half of the ad is telling you about the dangers of that drug. Isn't it? You've seen the ads. No adverse effects with cardiovascular protecting omega-3s. I, I, that's amazing. See, I was trained in the way of the drug as a physician, licensed to write any medicine available, approved by the FDA. That's the hardest part of medicine, is learning all those drug interactions. Forget about it. Omega-3s, nothing. Easy. 
piece of cake. American Journal of Medicine taking fish oil is more effective than an implanted cardiac defibrillator in preventing sudden cardiac death. Pretty amazing. Here's one. American Journal of Medicine eating a Mediterranean diet rich in omega-3s reduce, reduces the risk of dying from a heart attack by 20% and the risk of dying from all causes, whatever it is, all causes by 44%. European Society of Cardiology, fish oil better than statins for heart failure, also now into inflammatory bowel disease, fewer relapse rates, less uh, inflammation in Crohn's and ulcerative colitis, cancer studies, omega-3s reduce the rate of breast, liver, lung, and prostate cancer by 50%, while they reduce the risk of colorectal cancer by 66 and of course, don't forget skin conditions, eczema, and psoriasis. Why would you not take it? I don't know, were those kind of benefits? What do, what do we hear the most, the objection? I, I want to try to answer those questions. Well, I, mean, I, don't, I think is, that we just people just haven't learned. This just is just information. Learned. We have to get this haven't information learned. out. That's yes. all there is to it. This is just so compelling. And, you know, I, I, mean, I didn't know this when our kids were babies. Well, this is the newest stuff. You know, this this is just hot off the press right out mm -hmm. of the literature. I think I think the, a legitimate objection is the mercury situation. And towards the end of the program, we'll tell you how to avoid that. Okay. Let's go to our break now. But when we return, what about the degenerative diseases of old age? Dementia? Could it help that? You might be surprised. Amazing results from the science on omega-3s and the challenges of the senior years when we return.